Welcome back to Bernat.com. Today we're going to talk about our Knit or Not program. Today we're going to work with Zoe. Zoe's a great puffball yarn, nice and vibrant, fun colors. And of course, we're going to make a knit sample and a knot sample. Today we're going to make the knitted sample, but let me show you a little peek at the knotted version. So this one, you can watch the online tutorial. You just have to visit our website and it'll show you how to make the knotted scarf. And like I said, today we're gonna to be making a knitted version. And we're gonna be making this cowl. Look at it, isn't it gorgeous? Basically, you need to know three things. You need to know how to cast on, how to cast off, and the knit stitch. If you don't know how to do those, or maybe you need a refresher, we have some online tutorials that are really easy to follow. They'll take you step by step. You watch the video, follow it, no problem. You'll get be knitting like a pro in no time at all. So that's it. We're gonna get started. We wanna gather up our supplies. The supplies that you need are your Knit or Not Hank of Zoe yarn, a set of number 15 knitting needles, a small amount of coordinating smooth yarn, such as this Bernat Softy Chunky, a pair of scissors, and a large-eyed blunt tip needle. So now that we have all our supplies gathered up, we want to get to knitting our scarf. Basically, you want to remove the packaging. You just want to take the packaging out. Make sure you don't tear it. It has the pattern on the back of the label. If you do tear it, it's not a big deal because we do have the patterns online that you can download. So the first thing you're going to notice is that your yarn is packaged in sort of this big loop, okay? And what we want to do is we want to take it from this point to this ball, okay, to make it easier to knit. So you're going to see that the yarn comes packaged in a loop. It was folded in half and it's basically a loop like this. So you want to lay it out on a flat surface and you want to find, there's three ties, and you want to find those in your yarn and you want to just cut them off and remove those. There's got to be a third one around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we want to remove those and I've got a little trick for you to make this easier. What you want to do is you want to get a partner. Today we have my daughter. She's going to help us. And basically what you want to do is just loop it around somebody's hands. So you get your, mine is kind of falling apart here, but you want to loop it and basically you want to take your strand. Now if you don't have someone to help you, that's not a big deal. You can easily wrap it around the back of two chairs, you can put it on a doorknob, find a hook, anything around your knees even, just to kind of hold it in this shape so as you're unwinding it, it doesn't tangle. So you want to take it and just wind it up into a ball. There's nothing special, there's no technique to this. You just kind of want to go and you want to Loop it off and just keep winding until you end up with your full ball. You'll have something like this at the end of it, okay? All right, so what we wanna do now is we wanna cast on eight stitches onto our needles. Today I'm using Bernat Softy Chunky as my smooth yarn and I've got it here in dark mauve and it's just a color that we wanna pick that's close to the color of our yarn, our puffball yarn that we're using here. So what I want to show you about the puff ball here is that between each puff ball there is some sort of working yarn here. And that's the actual yarn we're going to use. And then when we get to a puff ball, we skip it and we work with this working yarn again. So between each puff ball, we're actually going to work two stitches. So we want to just go ahead and get started. So I'm getting ready to do my first knit stitch here and I'm just going to wrap the Zoe around and make my first stitch there. So it's not any different than any other knit stitch that we've done. It's exactly the same, but I'm just going to ignore the puff ball when I get to it. So I've got my one stitch with my working yarn and now I want to make a second knit stitch with my working yarn. So I just want to wrap it around like we always do and I want to pull my stitch through and off my needle. And now when we get to our third stitch here, we're going to skip this puff ball and we're actually going to work with this working yarn right here. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our needle and pull it through 
and slip it off. And that's our first stitch between those puff balls. And this is going to be our, where we're going to make our second stitch between the puff balls. So we have our second stitch right there. Okay, so again, we're at a puff ball. So we're going to ignore that puff ball. We're just going to skip it. And we're going to go ahead and use this piece of working yarn right here to make our next stitch. So one, two stitches. There we go. We're going to miss that puff ball. And we're going to do one, two stitches. Whoops, I've gotten a little too far on my needles there. Two stitches. And there we go. So now we have our eight stitches made with Zoe. And we're just going to flip our needles and we're going to go ahead and knit our next row. Now what I want to show you is that on our, I have a sample here, once you get knitting, you're going to have something like this. And you can kind of see that the puff balls start to lie in a grid. Now between each row you make, you kind of want to give your work a little tug down and it helps the puff balls go into place. And what you're going to see is that your stitches kind of get grouped into two and then you have your puff ball in your two. And that's created, that look is created as you work your stitches. So you want to keep going until you have about 22 inches of yarn left and then you want to cast off with the same thing that you cast on with. So your smooth yarn, remember I used the Bernat Softy Chunky? I'm going to use that same yarn to cast off. So basically this is what you're going to end up with, your finished one. And you want to take your two ends and you just want to kind of stitch them together and form this loop. Now. Basically, it's really simple to wear. You just kind of want to put it on. You can fold it. You can adjust it. You can twist it. Whatever you want. Before I sign off, I just wanted to mention that on the back of your label, there's a second knit pattern. And that one makes a scarf. Now, it's made in a very similar fashion, but this is what the scarf will look like. And you knit one stitch between each puff ball. But the instructions are there, or you can download it from our website. And that's it for today. So see you again at Bernat.com.